I saw a review for this game that said this is the equivalent of taking 20 acid trips at once and putting it into a video game, so that's really all I need to know. Let's go. Oh, it's a typing game? Son of a bitch. Oh, I have to type this shit in? Well, that's kind of new. Do I have to do this every time I want to turn down the volume or turn it up? Oh my god. Let's go with the 10%. I can always just turn it up at post. Alright, back. Play. Somewhere in a distant galaxy, war rages across the stars. Space Bear, let's fucking get this. A typing adventure game. Let's go by Damon Smith. And so our story begins as Space Bear and his trusty spacesuit Taffy hurdle into danger. Part one, Starlight. <clears throat> Am I gonna get to like type to him? Space Bear, wake up, we don't have much time. Press any key when you have finished reading. You bumped your head back there and have short-term amnesia. I'll help you get up to speed. I am Spacesuit. I am also your narrator and tutor. You can call me Taffy if you like. How do I know Taffy isn't a bad guy leading me right to the enemy? You are wearing me right now, understand? Oh, so it's like kill the kill, but... I mean, I probably look pretty sexualized like those characters. Who knows? I can only see first person. Have your response from the choices below. Am... Oh, uh... Okay. I'm equipped with bear translation technology, so I can read your body language and tell you what you're trying to say. Dude, if aliens are real, I hope they're space bears. That'd be great. We go to another planet that's nice and peaceful, and then a bear comes running at you. Astronauts have to carry bear mace on them. I can read your body language and tell what you are trying to say. Do bears really have that much of a complex body language? Bears are impatient and are not good at typing. Once you have typed the first letter of your chosen response, you may mesh the, mash the keyboard with your paws to make up the rest of the letters. Really? Did you say I am a space bear? Yes, you are a space bear in space called space bear. Don't forget to mash on the keyboard after typing the first letter. You can hold backspace to change your mind. So it doesn't really matter what I type you Fargo Higley Pants Yodel Flan Cake. Because I can accurately predict what you will say and thanks. I do look good today. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's get in this. Wait, what? <clears throat> Is that how you spell yogurt? If you were so helpful, why did you let me type that ex eat that expired yogurt, you son of a bitch? Vesper yogurt is really just expired milk, but you eat normal yogurt, so expired yogurt should be fine. Flawless. Huh. I guess that makes sense. I think you're up to speed now, Space Bear. I guess so. Yeah, why does the spacesuit not cover my arms then? Because the in-game artwork looked really weird with a spacesuit on the arms. Fair enough, man. No, I just have a helmet on. It's just a bear with a fake helmet. I mean, you need your paws free to use things, Space Bear. Yeah, that sounds legit. Should probably do something about our precarious situation. Space Bear, your spaceship is out of control. You are ca car careening into that black hole. Do something. Dude, you can't do shit against a black hole. Scream and wave arms about. There's no time for yelling, Space Bear. We're in space. No one can hear you scream. Man, these responses are golden. Oh, joy, a pop culture reference. What deep intellect, intelligent humor you have. Ah, uh, Space Bear, I'm glad you enjoy my humor and we are such good friends. Dude, I'm about to die. The black hole is closer uh, i guess eject or push the button thingies no no no. i don't want to i guess i'll eat the honey for winter my backs my backspace key is broken on my keyboard for some reason i can't use my backspace key unless my computer's been on for more than like 30 minutes i don't know why i'm too lazy and cheap to buy a new keyboard so i just wait it out it is very wise to be forward thinking but right now we have more pressing concerns screw you i'm gonna eat all the honey anyway you now have a sticky mess on the controls Oh god, am I not gonna be able to control this bitch anymore? You now have a full stomach. The black hole is much closer. We're running out of future space time, Space Bear. Push the button thingies. You can't push the button, Space Bear, as there's a sticky mess on the control. Fuck, I fucked myself. D lick sticky mess. You lap up the sticky mess on the controls. You no longer have a sticky mess. Now let's just push the buttons at random. You activate the space radio. Thank god, I didn't want to have to edit music into this. Oh god, make it stop. You activate the windscreen wipers. Oh man, why do I know this by now? Or why do I not know this by now? You activate the the butt wipers. Here we go. Uh, no, no, uh, actually, that's not bad. You now have a clean butt. Nice. The black hole is very close. Just, just eject, baby, eject. Even though I don't think that works. 
We can't space bear. You left the portable ejection button at home because quote, it smelled funny. What the hell is wrong with me? Also, you cannot survive drifting through space for a long time. No, see, I have my ejection button right here. Space bear, that is not a portable ejection button. That is your bu <sighs> This game is something. Call for help on the comms. Comms activated. What do you want to say? Help. Comms activated. What do you want to say? The ugly visage of a void mole appears on your space monitor. It's General Varg. You recognize him because of his eye patch. Ah, oh, since moles are blind anyways. Is that his anus I'm looking at? I thought you could escape our clutches, but we have you right where we want you. There's a black hole behind you, man. Wait, hang on. Do I want to use a clean butt or how are you not getting sucked into that black hole? I use the clean butt. Use a clean butt. You moon the mole. It looks like that's what he's doing to me. I may be blind space bear, but my moon sensors still work. But I will have the last laugh as I can see cracks appearing. I thought you were blind. Soon you will die a horrible death, space bear. Ah, revoir. Okay, man. Thanks for the help. Your ship starts its death spiral. Use a full stomach. You vomit? God damn it. I am making this worse. You no longer have a full stomach. The black hole fills your vision with black. Here are the evil General Varg chuckling over the comms. Ho, ho, ho. Horribly, your last thoughts are of Christmas mince pies. Part two, cut straight to the heart. Oh, so we went into the black hole. Did we get spaghettified? Or did it send us back in time? Breaking exposition. Today marks the one month anniversary when the void moles destroyed New Hamsterdam. Oh, I'm sleeping. Wake up, space bear. Oh, I gotta type in the Z's. Led by General Varg, a squadron of mole ships unleashed hundreds of bombs onto the peaceful settlement, reducing it to rubble. As the election draws nearer, the pre bar the pre the the what? The bears it didn't <laughs> vows to retaliate with force if re-elected. The good bear citizens of Planet Tara fear that the void moles may attack any day. Grope around for radio alarm snooze button. Wake up, space bear. This is a big day. I am up. Hey man, I was listening to Exposition Radio. Get up, Space Bear. I am Spacesuit. You can call me Taffy if you like. Sigh. I know, I met you in the tutorial. Aha, tutorial, you are sounding crazy. You know you're already worrying me, right? Yeah, I figured with this, uh, this dome blocking my peripherals. How did this happen? Government officials came last night and dressed you. We tried to wake you, but you were rather hard to rouse. I mean, fair enough. You're probably hibernating or some shit. Open your eyes, Space Bear. We are going to be late. Wait, my eyes are closed, yet I can see my arms in front of me. Man, this game is trippy. I love it. Open eyes. Holy shit, it's Jazz Frenchie. I haven't heard this track in years. I'm now thinking of my old friend's videos before he went and became a filmmaker. Hello, Jake, if you're watching this. You now have a massive hangover. Mm. He must have been consuming some of that Three Olives Loopy. It's vodka that tastes exactly like Fruit Loops and it smacks. Yeah, well, no, what what did I do last night? Get up, Space Bear. Today you have a meeting with the, the, the Bearsident. Oh boy, I will wear my best suspenders. I am programmed to understand some sarcasm, you know. No, no, I really am excited and want to look my best. Well, okay then. I mean, you can wear them underneath your spacesuit. I mean, me, where are they? Ha ha ha. Told you I don't own suspenders. Would it kill you to be nice for one day? I'm hungover, dude. Maybe you should try and fix your hung your hangover first. This is no way to meet the pr the bears ident. Drink water. Like I'm doing right now. I'm not hungover or anything. It's just really important to stay hydrated. You no longer have a massive hangover. I wish it were that easy. You now have a medium hangover. That makes more sense. You know that's why you you're supposed to chug water before you go to bed. That way you don't wake up with a hangover. Hmm, maybe you should try and fix your hangover first. Uh, eat Cornetto. What the hell is Cornetto? You now have a Cornetto. Oh! Duh, like the Zombieland movies and all that shit. Not Zombieland, uh... What was the movie? They did, uh... They did Hot Fuzz. Then they did Shaun of the Dead. The Cornetto trilogy. Should have known that. What the hell, man? Use your left arm to eat your ice cream, space bear. Wait. I just typed to eat it. You no longer have a Cornetto. You no longer have a medium hangover. You now have a mild hangover. Hmm, maybe you should try and fix your hangover. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, hibernate. Okay, but just a short nap, Space Bear. You don't want to be late. I'm going to sleep through my meeting with the bears at aren't I? Oh, no, Space Bear, you overslept. It's the middle of the night. 
Only one way to I swear to god, if I fix this by getting drunk. <laughs> Fucking love this. You just slept for a day. See if it is daytime again so we can go see the president and pretend he had the day wrong. This game's fucking great. I gotta send this to like Keegan or somebody. Or Trent. Maybe I can get Trent to come out of retirement and play this game. But the, the bears didn't was wrong. Trust me, us bears can get away with murder. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. It sounds foreboding, Space Bear. I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen. Looks like your hangover's gone. We should go see the bears didn't. Take m miraculous, too good to be true anti-hangover drugs. Even though I am no longer hungover. Looks like your hangover's gone. Wait, did I just... <laughs> you now have hallucinations. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at that fucking fish radio in the corner. That's awesome. In my lobster hand. And the mouse in the corner. This is amazing. Oh man, not again. It will probably wear off by the end of the day, but we still have to get through the meeting. Looks like your hangover's gone. We should go see the bears in it. I think I am fine as I am now. All right, let's hop in a future taxi and get over to the president's, the bears in its residence. Let me guess, the brown house. Nah, that's the, the white cave, man, come on. You got it, oh, never mind. Some amount of future space time later. I gotta see if this creator's made anything else. This is great. Ah, uh, Space Bear, you have arrived. There's no time for chit chat. However, let's get to business. Why are we meeting out front? What if somebody shoots him? Like a mole person. As you know, the void moles are wiping out our species. The destruction of New Hamster Dam cannot go unpunished. Go on, Captain Exposition. Oh, he's not the president. What's this track called? I gotta go through my uh, folder. If I see the track in my folder, I'll know what song this is. This is Investigations by Kevin MacLeod. I love it when games do the music for me. This is awesome. All right, let's go. Go on, Captain Exposition. General Varg is planning to launch one final attack on our home planet, Tara. Space Bear, you are the only one that can help us for some reason. This guy is hella boring. I wonder how they make those little ships and bottles. I just realized my mouse has been here the entire time. I'm such a fucking amateur. Blah, 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 last chance, blah, blah. Maybe they train little ants to construct all the masts and rigging. Blah, 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 your mission, blah, 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 blah. Extreme danger, blah, blah, blah. Do the ants have little hammers and nails? No, that's silly. Maybe glue. So Space Bear, do you accept this mission to save our planet? Uh, um, can you repeat all that, please? I was thinking about ants. General Vargas planning to launch one final attack on our home planet. Space Bear, okay. We need you to get to the Void Mole's home planet and find General Varg. Then, and this is important, negotiate peace terms. It's time to end this war peacefully. I like how my hands look messed up, but everything else looks fine. Like, I'm probably not even talking to a bear. I'm probably talking to like a trash can on Fifth Avenue that some homeless guy just took a dump in. I will offer them ownership of the moon and perhaps some nice hummus. Fuck no, they can't have the moon, that's mine. You're in good hands, space bear. Your spacesuit taffy here is state of the art. I personally insured it for your use. Thanks, man. It's. It's pretty cool, fucking weeb. Give me this kill the kill shit. Isn't that right, Taffy? Yeah, third Mr. Bear President. Good luck, Space Bear. We have faith that you'll resolve this war peacefully. Fuck no, I'm about to Zach Brannigan this shit. A shiver just went down my spine. I am sure it is nothing though. I'm probably just coming down from my hangover medication. Well, that was exciting, Space Bear. We should head over to the spaceport and set out. Let us swing by my house first. There is something I need to pick up. Is it more medicine or is it liquor? Uh, obligatory muffin cameo. All right, back to Space Bear. You now have portable ejection button. Ah, yes. We're gonna need that. Part three, another day. Space Bear, your spaceship is still spiraling into that black hole. Oh yeah, what's up? <laughs> what about my vomit? I want my vomit back, <laughs> if you insist. Space Bear, your spaceship is still spiraling into that black hole. Oh, okay. I have a crazy idea. What is your idea, Space Bear? We are out of time. You sacrifice yourself and somehow I survive and go home and eat mints on toast. Space Bear, I would gladly sacrifice myself for the good of the mission, but I cannot calculate a scenario where this would help you live. It was worth a shot. What is your idea, Space Bear? We are out of time. Aim at the void mole ship and use the ejector seat for a surprise attack. Wait, shoot the hostage? Hang on. If I keep hitting my backspace key, I, I should be able to fix this. I, I should probably go buy a new keyboard today. Yeah, my backspace key doesn't work, son of a bitch. But Space Bear, you left your portable ejection button back at home. No, I, I, I brought it. 
Nah, I picked it up in a flashback. Who's texting me? All right, Beth. Sorry, I was texting a friend about bacon cheese sticks and how good they are. I don't. When did? What? No time for explanations. We gotta go. Space Bear, if we don't make it, it's been an honor. Taffy will always be your friend. Use portable ejection button. It didn't work. Mash it, Space Bear. Hey, we did it. Wait. I've used this song too. I used this in my Grand Theft Auto heist video. Like one of them. We did it. And look, there's General Varg's ship. Hang on, I gotta find this one. No, I'm pretty sure this one's called like coming home or some shit or landing on the, I'll look it up really quick. I believe it's called going higher. Man, this is fucking trippy. I can't believe I'm getting nostalgic for music I've used in older videos. This is so fucking weird. This game speaks to me on a level. What did you do exactly? Base Bear, the black hole is pulling us back in. God damn it. Can I just like eat a lot of honey and gain even more mass than the black hole and pull it into me and absorb its powers or some shit? Shut down all the garbage smashers on the detention level. I don't. Is detention level your butt? Haha, <laughs> it is now. This is no time for butt jokes, Space Bear. We have to think of an escape plan. I can get behind this. I'm serious. What do we do? Oh no, oxygen is less than 5%. What what do? Oh, uh, we do what sharks do. We do what that one shark does to where we shut down parts of our brain to consume less oxygen and wait for the tide to pull us back into the ocean. We do not need that 5% vent it, baby. It will propel us forward. Okay, venting the last of our oxygen. Boy, I hope this works good, buddy. At least if we die, I no longer have to listen to you. We will secretly hitch a ride back to the void. Moles planted on this ship. Oh, sweet. Part four, murder on the dance floor. I really hope that uh, I don't have vomit on my face for the rest of this. I'm loving this. This is a really fun game. And it was free. You now have peace hummus. Okay, Space Bear, we are on the mole planet. Let's find General Varg and settle this peace treaty. Now let's go clap his mole cheeks. Can I ask you something, Space Bear? You just did. <laughs> I hate myself. I am only code and I can only follow orders, but do you think this peace treaty is a good idea? Remember, Plemerton and New Hamsterdam, these void moles will stop at nothing to destroy us. War only leads to more war. War, what is it good for? And we need more instrumental music. I can't, I, it feels weird talking in this quiet void. You are right. I did not consider the cycle of relentless violence and power of breaking free. We are very alike, Space Bear. That makes me happy. You, you being happy makes me angry and upset. Perhaps you are right, but what drives you, Space Bear? Why take on this important, dangerous mission? Well, I hope to be on the cover of a cereal box one day. You know, I didn't even think about that. I'd love to be on the cover of a box of cereal. Just call it like Ebbles Pebbles or some shit. Ah, bear with mysteries. You don't have to always be so wisecracking and stoic, Space Bear. You are allowed to feel. I know I'm really feeling that Ebbles Pebbles thing. Like, maybe we could, like make a t-shirt out of that we are friends space bear taffy will always be your friend you should share your burdens with your friends taffy's gonna betray me i swear uh do i want a daughter or a son nah my daughter it's always a daughter in these roland emmerich movies what is her name witro we wanted a boy she sounds like a cool kid i wish i could meet her Ooh, a piece of uh, royalty free music i have yet to hear is she back home yeah, she lives with my ex, so I do not get to see her often. <laughs> Was that her picture in your bedroom? Yeah. I am sure you will make her proud, Space Bear. Just believe in yourself. Dot, dot, dot. Game saved. Let's do it. Let's go do whatever we got to do with these mole people. Okay, thanks for sharing, Space Bear. We should go find this general. Just avoid any guards as they may attack you on sight. I am a bear. They are moles. I will maul that thing. Which way do we go? Well, Hunter Hunter says that people go left because they don't want to assume they're going to go right at first, so... I'm going to go right. Oh no, a guard approaches. Son of a bitch. The, the creator must have watched Hunter Hunter also, and they knew I would have picked that. A guard approaches. Oh, I'm just going to swipe at him. Here we go. And bitch slap. Oh, never mind. An evil bear on our planet. Sup? I'm here to make love, not war. Help, there's a bear inside our defenses. He runs off. I should have eaten him. Maybe I... Yeah, maybe I should fashion a white flag. He'll be back with reinforcements. I'll just tell them what's up, too. 
Base bear, we system override executing order 3681. Whoa, your voice has gone all funny, man. What are you okay? Commencing encouragement dis dispensation. You feel a sharp prick in your neck. Oh God, did he just roofie me? Oh, what is going on? Talk to, to eh, whatever. Blood rushes to your head and all your muscles begin to tense up. Oh, did he just inject me with like adrenaline? I'm gonna go on some rampage in here. I feel strange and powerful and angry. Roar. Oh, that was pretty cool. We did bitch smack him. Roar. I'm just typing very slowly just to look at the stop motion. Please, we don't want to fight. This is our home. Neither do I, but I have lost control. Oh, I can't even type it. It just says roar. Let's fucking go. Let's maul these mole people. Are we just going to kill the entire mole population? Part five, the distance between us. The town of New Amsterdam has begun to rebuild. The, the president, an ex-military general, is being hailed as a hero for bringing a decisive end to the war. Details of the secret mission are classified, but the president has this to say on the matter. Negotiation attempts proved fruitless, and we had to turn to our other last resort solution, so we doped up Space Bear and let him loose. The lead agent was able to infiltrate the mole lair, kill General Varg, and neutralize his soldiers. Through the valiant actions of a few, we, the many, can rest at ease now. It is time for the nation to heal from the horrible wounds inflicted by the evil void mole race. While some have criticized his Machiavellian actions, the majority of voters polled now have complete faith in him. Machiavellian, that's a, that's a word I don't use a lot. For Space Bear, is he stuck on the mole planet? Or am I just drifting through space and my victory was nothing but a hallucination due to lack of oxygen? Space Bear? Space Bear, you can't stay in bed forever. Open your eyes. You have to get up. What is the point? Space Bear, I... Oh, phone's ringing. I'll just answer it for you via the magic of electronics. Click, Space Bear. It's me, the Bearsident. Hell, you've been through enough to skip formality calling. Call me Gavin. Gavin? I killed a lot of moles. I understand you have many questions. I don't have all the answers for you. Space Bear, you lost control. You gave in to your animal instincts. Nah, man, you roofied me. I sent you in on a mission of peace. But what you did, I can't commend you publicly. You understand? Look at what you accomplished. There's always a price to pay for the greater good. The war is over. I'm proud of you, son. Click, Space Bear. You can talk to me. Taffy will always be your friend. Space Bear, are you okay? Is that a Pulp Fiction reference at the top? Nah, man. I'm pretty far from okay. That's okay. You deserve a break. I really do. My fingers hurt from typing. But the war is over. We should be celebrating. How can I look... How can I look Woodrow in the eye now? She'd be proud of you. You ended the war. None of this adds up at all. There's a part of my memory bank's missing, Space Bear. This has never happened to me. All I remember is you losing control and hurting all of those moles. We have to figure out what happened. Something strange happened up there on that planet, Space Bear. It has got to be the Joker again, Robin to the back copter. Oh boy, I get this reference. Giggle. G. Williker Space Bear. I mean Space Batman. Right now, I have to, I might take a massive dump of this suit just so you suffer. What <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this bear? But seriously, what are we going to do now? Return to the scene of the crime. But Space Bear, you're grounded. You're not allowed to Who grounded me? The president? Why don't I like that look in your eye? Part six, new flame. Are we going to go get rid of the bear's event? I'm down. How many chapters are in this game? I mean, I don't care, really. I'm loving it. Space Bear, you just can't steal a spaceship. I have used this track before. I can't remember what this one is called, but I have used this one before. Space Bear, you just can't steal a spaceship. Why not? They stole my body and mind. Well, I guess that's... Hey, what's that under the sheet there? Piles of unsold Matrix sequel DVDs. Okay, let's take a look. I, I don't understand. The president was a mole. See, that joke works on two levels. The puzzle pieces are starting to come together. Uh, can we have a mole spaceship? It doesn't make sense. I am pretty clueless, but let us take it for a joyride anyways. Uh, Space Bear? You know that Taffy will always be your friend, right? I do not know if I can trust you, but I still need you. I understand. I wish this gap was not in my memory banks. I know we are the best of friends, Space Bear. It's just, you never call me Taffy. T. Dot, dot, dot. Alert. 
Intruder in the spaceport alert. Space bear, we gotta go. If Taffy is an intruder, I am right about this. I'll, I'll be kind of sad. I like Taffy. Only because Space Bear hates him. And I'm not going to agree with everything Space Bear says because that's just basic. Hey, it's Gavin, the Bearsident. Mr. Bearsident, it looks like Space Bear has stolen the mole ship and is leaving the planet. What should we do? Space Bear has gone insane and off the book. Those genocidal actions were unsanctioned. Yes, the war is won, but Space Bear in the companion space suit went too far. I'm worried they'll go back to the mole planet and finish what they started. Space Bear has gone rogue. Eliminate them at all costs. Roger. Oh, am I going to have to fight some, like, some Space Bears? Ah, Space Bear, it was going so well. All you had to do was enjoy your victory and keep your mouth shut. Well, no matter. Taffy will take care of that. And then we shall see who is the greatest, most popular, most handsome bear of... Gavin, your dinner is ready. Coming, mother. I kind of read that in Principal Skinner's voice. Not out loud in my head. There's no way I can talk like Principal Skinner. Space Bear, we're being chased. Do something. Uh, uh, like moon them? I should moon them. Good idea. Showing your butt has not nor ever will help the situation. Use the mole spaceship controls to get us out of this predicament. I cannot understand this mole language. I will have to experiment. Use those wacky mole controls. Uh, Lola, Punka, Lola. What the fuck did I just do? Well, that was fun, but kind of useless. Space Bear, they're shooting at us. Use those wacky mole controls. Shoot the hostage. Damn. Darn it, Space Bear. This is serious. Space Bear, they're shooting at Uh, Fistular. Wait, fire missiles. Blub. Just one. Man. Let us be thrift. Okay, here goes. Well, that didn't do anything. Okay, more missiles, less disappointment. You're the boss. Wrong way, man. <laughs> Well, that, that's all our missiles. Space Bear has too much firepower. I'm out of here. Space Bear, they're shooting at us. Those wacky mole controls. I already tried Lola Punka Lola. It didn't do anything. Loop de loop again. Maybe I should do the Abla Cub Dam thing. Abla Barrel Roll. It looks like some shit the Moon and Knights would do in Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I don't think we have enough dimensions for a successful barrel roll. Do look, just do half a barrel roll and you'll be so thin they won't see you. It works for the Moon and Knights. That felt weird. Let's never do that again. Space pair, they're shooting at us. Use those wacky mole controls. Ab la bob. Activate cloaking device. It's just the tarp. We've lost them. I'm going to check out another sector. <laughs> if they lost us, why are they still shooting? How did that even work? Our sheet wasn't even black. Let's try the bottom one. Urkarunk. Use the comm. We, we're passed through to the lead bear ship. What do you want to say? Yo, your president is a dick. I'm trying to do some good here. You got to believe me, fellow bear friend. He is a dick, but he is still my president, and I must obey orders. You committed genocide, Space Bear. You stole a ship. You're going to kill more void moles. The war is over, Space Bear. You are a danger to us all and must be stopped. I will not stop until I have stopped you. Well, I won't stop until I have stopped you stopping me from stopping the president, stopping being a jerk, stopping. The bears that warned me of your lies, Space Bear. He is the one, oh, he is the one lying to you. None of this makes any sense. What do you mean? Like what happened to General Varg's body? And did anyone ever see more than one enemy ship? Go on. How come a single bear managed to wipe out an entire army? I don't, you've, this war was a sham. Okay, Space Bear, what you say makes some sense. A lot of things about this war never added up. We only ever saw one enemy ship. Just one. I'm going to let you go. I hope you uncover the truth. What will you do? I will tell the Bearsident you escaped. But he's still the Bearsident. Thank you. I don't want to call him a dick. He let me go. Good luck, Space Bear. Thank you, um... Other Bear? Well, that was... The... Well, that's that. Phew. Time to give those Void Moles the old one too, huh, Space Bear? Now I am pretty sure these moles are not to blame. Later. Is he gonna prick me again and I go on another rampage? Because I really don't want to do that. Aw, oh, look at them, how sad they all look. Daddy, the mean bear came back. No, it was not me. I was not in control. But you murdered so many of us. I am so sorry. We don't want apologies. We wanted to be left alone in peace. I have to tell you what really happened. Please help me figure it all out. Okay, why did you kill so many of us? I was forced to do it by a rage-inducing drug that was injected into me. I might as well be honest with them, but why? 
because you bombed New Amsterdam, even though I'm pretty sure you didn't. But we didn't. We don't have any army or weapons larger than a spear. We are a peaceful race. Look at us. But why? It was the bears that didn't orders all along. Your president orchestrated this. Why? Uh, uh, sex and money and drugs and even bigger televisions, probably. Space Bear, the president's approval rating did shoot up right after the massacre. One more question, mole man. I don't know why I thought that was a woman. Yes, you do not know a General Varg, do you? No. Who is he? Unless the moles are lying to me and trying to do a double loop-de-loop -loop on me. I think he was the Bearsident all along. Oh, Space Bear, this reminds me of... Oh, nope, they're getting me again with the drug. You do not have to do this fight for your programming, man. Space Bear can't resist commencing encouragement. You have got to fight it. It's too strong, cannot break my programming. Do it for me, Taffy. Taffy, you said my name. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I knew we were the best of friends, Space Bear. Now give me an option to shit talk him so he can inject me anyways. I could never inject my true best friend. We are going to have so many pajama parties now with waffles and Tim Tams. I bet. No, wait, I changed my mind. I would rather kill everyone. Is everything okay? Are we about to be murderized? Not today, little buddy. Okay, what will you do now? <sighs> Go home and eat the <laughs> some two-minute noodles and overthrow the bears -ident. Good luck, giant bear. Please set things right. Part 8, the universe is you. I saw a guy had 48 hours in this game on his deal. Maybe he, like, passed out while playing it and had to go do some shit, or he just really got sucked into the role of Space Bear. Space Bear, I just wanted to take a moment to pause and reflect on how far we've... Oh, brother. Through struggles and hardships, our infinite friendship has managed to overcome adversity. You must have a self-destruct somewhere. Sometimes it has been difficult, but with our foundation of trust and love. I cannot believe you are still talking. Finally bridged the insurmountable gap of robot bear love. So, I made you a present. Go on. It's an audio-visual travelogue of our journey. Here, let me show you. Oh, no. No, no, no. Just stop and listen. We are not friends, period. I do not want any presidents. There's no way in hell that I am ever going to watch your stupid, pointless travelogue. Oh, thank God. Some music. Taffy's Adventures, written by me, Taffy. Oh, my God. Other friends, Seymour, Mr. Table, my best friend and me. I love Taffy times 20. Oh, is that what Space Bear looks like? We went on a magical journey and found a big castle. What's with all the fish people? Inside was the evil Mole King. Maybe I didn't even hallucinate from a suit injection and they just... <laughs> that was just my anti-hangover pills that sent me on a feral rampage. Turn the page, Space Bear. I'm sorry, I was just having theories. I like that he's knock knocking the spiders off of the book pages. Tiny evil whales. I love this so fucking much. We went back in time and we played Ghost of Tsushima and fought dinosaurs and... Oh, no, we're playing Fruit Ninjas. Have shown me the airs my way. Take Princess Salmonella and my ice cream. And lived happily ever after. Beautiful book. This reminds me of that book Meatwad wrote. The Adventures of Jet Chicken and Rocket Horse. So what do you think? That was terrible and poorly animated and it is kind of sexist. Good animation takes time and dedication. It is hard to do this and also have a day job. Looks at camera and winks. Yeah, I can do that too, man. Animation does take forever. Especially when you have a day job. What do you mean, camera? Look at the bears in it. Nice bear, I have an idea. What if I use my internal recording system to record the bears in it's confessing? Can we just not, can we not just punch them in the bracket and go home? Mm, no, I'm pretty sure the people deserve the truth after all. Do they? I mean... Really, as far as I, I haven't seen any other bears besides the bears ident and like three guys trying to shoot me. So I do not have a choice, man. What the croc? I know you want to do the right thing deep down, space bear. You just have to talk to him into confessing everything. I believe in you. I will do this for all bear and mole kind. Game saved. Let's go. Space bear, here he comes. Talk him into confessing. Well, well, well. Figured it all out, have you? I must say, I'm impressed. Well, I am impressed that my fist has not been introduced to your butt ugly face. Even now, you have to resort to violence. Didn't your time on the mole planet teach you anything? That was not me at all. You killed all those moles, slaughtered them. Poor things didn't stand a chance. Yes, and I feel terrible, but I was being manipulated by your drugs. No, Space Bear. They just unlocked your inner rage. You did the killing. Tell me, Mr. Bearsident, what is Order 3861? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Before he stuck me full of drugs, my space shoot mentioned Order 3861. Order 3861? Never heard of it. That is strange because you corrected me just then when I said 3861 instead of 3681. Holy shit, I didn't even catch that. Well, you got me there, Space Bear. Yes, the whole war was faked. The moles have always been a peaceful race. That's all it took to break you, man? You could have just said, oh, my bad. I thought you said 3681, not 3861. I was about to lose the election. The people needed a war hero. You were the perfect scapegoat, even if I had to fly you all the way to the mole planet myself. There was no General Varn, just me and a mole spaceship. Hey, at least he's dedicated, man. At least he didn't some send somebody else to do his dirty work to start this. Though he did send me to end it. He could have just lied himself and been like, yeah, man, there were mole people and I went and killed them all. A shame you figured it out. But who's going to believe you over me? Actu actually... I swear to God, if he forgot to record the conversation, this is going to be great. We record the whole conversation, so suck on that, picked egg. Very clever, Space Bear. I guess I'll just have to finish this myself. Why'd you go back? This could have been so much easier. It was almost a perfect plan to get reelected. You were supposed to die out there. We've talked for long enough. It's time to take you out for good. Space Bear, he'll kill us. Do something. With what? What's he gonna do? I'm Space Bear. Mr. Bearsden, I challenge you to a presidential dance combat. Ho ho ho, my honor and ego mean I cannot refuse. Alright, what royalty-free disco track are we gonna boogie to? Very well, Space Bear. Let us begin presidential dance combat. I will go first. I assume you know the rules. Win and you gain the Bearsdency. He's just gonna be dancing and shit. I'm gonna maul him. Lose and be very embarrassed. I will go first. Watch me nail this. Bring it on. Holy shit. Space Bear, get ready. Type the words coming at you as fast as you can. Oh, let's fucking go. Epidermis. Antelope. Con copia. Biscuit. Zenin. Indulg indulgence. Too easy. Let's set up the intensity. Okay, I just got to get the first word. Let's do this. Tedious. Sporadic. J jealousy. Meow. Come on, Bearsident. What's up, baby? Please don't give me any. Round two. Shishimi. What? Why are we cooking shishimi? Why is he so good? Why is he so good? He's too good. What's with the fucking fish? I think he's beating me. Like this legit fucking hurts my arms to do this. I don't think I'm gonna beat him. Wait, what? Dinosaur box. <laughs> Keep both arms up the block. Use the correct arm to punch him when he isn't blocking. I like that my uh, I like that my hood is gnawing like a dinosaur mouth. Dude, this game is wild. I love it. I get when crazy shit happens that not even I can think of. And I hit him with everything you got. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I can't do the JoJo order. Okay, Space Bear, you win. Do what you came to do. Finish me. I want to maul him though. I, mean, I can't throw him in jail. He'll just get out. Politicians never see jail time. Your presidency is finished, man. Space police, you're under arrest for the crime of being an ass. Well done, Space Bear. We couldn't arrest him while he was president. He's actually wanted for a bunch of drug and frisbee-related charges. What did he do? Snort a line off of, like, some midget's boner then went and played frisbee golf or some shit? Hope you can bear jail. Hi, I'm not laughing at that. Maybe you'll end up in a jail in a s in Siberia. Siberia. Goddamn, just take me away. Ho, 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 come on, no need to have a grizzly about it. Space Bear, you did it. You defeated the Bearsident. Now you are the new Bearsident. What will you do now? Party like it's a long nap. I wanted to type in party like it was 1995, but I hit A before I could do P. Space Bear. Well, that was pretty good, man. This was neat. It was very fun. I liked it. I like that the Bearsident has like this long scar going down his tummy. What's wrong with his feet? That's, those are some weird bear feet. Of course, I've never drawn a bear foot. Now I really want to go to the store and get some like 
those like graham bears those are good i actually might go do that good game now time to go pester all my friends to play it before putting this video out oh uh, oh yes it truly wouldn't be space bear if i didn't type out the ending quit <laughs> Oh, my God.